So these are all of the items, for the most part there's a few missing here, that I have made, handmade by myself over the years. Um, I have collected them and like pretty much never worn them because I have a hard time getting rid of what I consider my art <laughs> to other people uh, just because I don't know how they'll treat it and for me if something were to break I'd fix it but for other people that's not always the case but I thought I would show you guys all of the items that I've made and um, I guess do a second part for the other stuff that I haven't quite finished um, so I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I have here is this cupcake polymer clay uh, pendant design that I did. It looks like the eye pin is starting to come out. I've had this thing forever, and by forever I mean like five plus years. Um, when I was making it I accidentally burnt the bottom and I actually quite liked how it turned out in the end because it kind of gave it a nice little gradient uh, look to it, but this was one of my favorite things that I had made and I just have not worn it in a very long time. Next thing most recently that I've made is this necklace here. I just really liked it. Um, I kind of got inspiration from the little uh, Anukshuks, I think is how you pronounce it, um, plus the little stone uh, stacking that you can do and stuff. But it just has two different sides here with one bead in the middle holding them together and then a nice, uh, I don't know, bronzy colored chain to it. I just really liked it. I thought it was super cute. Um, probably never going to wear it. Uh, kind of want to sell it, but again, I just don't know how that will go. Next, I made this little rose pearl necklace here. I made it for my mom. One thing for this, which I'm not entirely sure yet, is how it looks on. So I have yet to give it to her. I don't know if she'll wear it. I guess I should probably ask her that first. If she'll wear it, then that's good. If not, then I guess I'll maybe try to sell it. Um, but I really like the variance in the colors and then the pearls is what is my favorite part about it. The um, beads were on sale, which was nice as well. So it just, I don't know, I like it. I like symmetrical for the most part things um, in that the sides are balanced with colors repeating. Um, and that's just kind of my style. Something a little different was I did this keychain here with a bunch of little keys and then some butterflies, little swirl bee things, I don't know what to call those, and then little pink ones at the very bottom of that too, just for your keys or on your purse or something. I thought this was adorable. Still do think it's adorable. Um, and this one butterfly says, created for you. So it's, it's really cute. I like it. Now, back when they first started uh, with the word script things, I made this forever ago as well. Um, this used to be very, very popular. I don't know, like 2013-ish, at least in the art side for jewelry channels. And I had made this and then I just never wore it because although I thought it was decent, I didn't think it was the best thing that I'd ever made. Um, so it's just kind of hung up since and never been worn. <laughs> Next, I have no clue what I was doing with this one, but it's this bracelet that's been weaved. Again, I have no clue how I did this. I think maybe it was like half crocheted, um, half friendship bracelet, um, half tucked in. I, I got nothing, um, but it's just supposed to look like this. I think they're really cute. I think it's just, it's nice and soft as well as you got like a heavy duty chain so you got the contrast between materials although this looks super chunky it's nice and soft and then the chain with that um, I just like the design of it I wish I remembered how I made this and I'd probably make some more but I have no clue um, and that's kind of how I do my arts and crafts is I just throw it together and I have something and then I never remember how I made it and I just keep coming up with new ideas this one is just very very basic uh, just beads and chain nothing fancy um, just tiny little clasp but might be able to put this on here I don't know looks like that <laughs> so um, it's nice just easy simple nice same color scheme so it kind of just blends in but still gives you a little bit of a layering piece to it uh, this one here actually took me a while to do because I did beads in a braided item here and then safety pins into chain here with beads on the safety pins and then more chain here 
Uh, one thing for me for this is the asymmetry of it, which I really enjoy. And it just hangs nice. I don't know. I like this one. Never wore it, but just kind of liked the idea that I came up with and the bunch of different contrasting stuff in half and then a quarter and then another quarter. So it's not like all the same. It's different in each aspect of the necklace. This one I also made around the exact same time. It has the safety pins, the little spikes, and then the braided chain here. Just more simplistic in the sense of symmetry. And it's not as, I don't know, all over the place. But I like this one too. I just really liked the pink and the carbon I'll call it like a carbon fiber kind of colored chain that went together well and it was kind of like a rocker-ish type punk sort of thing that was at the time when I made it. Um, again, this one was like five years or so ago, but I really enjoyed this one as well. Now for more of a basic item, I got this um, heart with wings, key, and then a little lock. So something super, super basic. Uh, the lock is kind of hidden by the key. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I was doing this one, but it's just... Well, I might have done it backwards. It is what it is. Um, but this one's just nice, simplistic with the two little pieces a little closer um, in length, which I don't like really close things because I feel like it's choking me unless it's like a choker and is intended to be doing that. The ones that are kind of like an in-between, I don't. I don't enjoy as much. This one was inspired by the Peter Pan collar phase that happened. Um, I really enjoyed that phase. I just feel like it, it was just kid-like and that's something I really enjoy. It's just kid-like things. I think it's very important um, to keep your inner child alive so I enjoyed that time in fashion. Um, but this is what it looks like, just very basic, simple, um, gives that effect without having to wear the undershirt. So this one I wore to school once and people actually really liked this one. They actually asked me where I bought it from, which made me excited because when somebody asks you if you bought a piece of jewelry that you made, you're like, dang, you could see that in the store. And I made that. Um, that probably could have been my moment to like actually start continuing and um, having a tiny bit more confidence in myself and my abilities. and allowing myself to let go of items that I made, but unfortunately, um, still have that issue, but I going strong, learning, growing, getting there, but I do really like this one because it has the little bow. I love bows. And then um, little seashells with fake ice crystal type things in it, uh, which was a big thing amongst the um, clay community at one point as well. Um, in making like frappuccinos and different things like that. Back to the more rock-like ones. Uh, I made this one. I really like this one as well. It has, these aren't turtles, but I consider them little turtle pendants because they're almost shaped like them. Uh, and I added these little silver balls at the bottom, a chunkier chain, and then the thinner chain, and the skull in the middle. The one thing that's hard about this is sometimes the skull doesn't sit upright like I would like it to and I don't think there's any way to fix that but it is what it is um, but I do really enjoy this one as well it's just it's different than what you would normally find um, at least from what I found <laughs> when I was uh, looking in stores and stuff around the time that I made this um, but I think it's just I don't know I think it was innovative at the time that I made it maybe not so much now but I quite enjoy this one so this one's a little complicated, but it's a little sea turtle inside of a shell, and then I added some sparkly bits, um, and then an extra little pendant on this side, and did like a squiggly sort of uh, design for the chain. I think the chain's bent different than what I had originally bented, because it's not quite sitting the way I know it usually does. It might have been from I just dropped it two seconds ago uh, on the floor with the rest of the necklaces I made. Okay, and so that's what this one looks like. It's just very minimal, but still quite cute and ocean themed. Next is just this friendship bracelet, very similar to what you would do in hair for a fish braid style. Um, 
with that and then it goes into braiding because I am assuming I got bored of fish braiding how long this took me and was like you know what we are just braiding the rest of it and that is that another bracelet that I made is this heart one with these blue circles if you can tell uh, my stuff is really themed around certain things so cupcakes bows kind of just rock or punk and then ocean based stuff um, do I know why? No, but those are things I like, so that's probably why. But that is what it would look like on if I could do it up by myself, but I can't, so. Um, I rather enjoy that one. Don't know why I don't wear it, um, but I probably should wear it someday so that it actually gets some use out of it. But until that day, <laughs> it'll sit on the little scoop of scoop. This one I'm pretty sure I made for my sister at one point. It's just little peace signs with different colored chain in the middle. Um, I think this one's pretty basic too that you can pretty much wear it wherever you want with your outfits within reason and just kind of, you know, it's just, it lays nice. It's just a nice little piece if I do say so myself. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much it. Another basic item is just these little triangles just repeating in colors. Uh, I think it came in three three packs, so I got two packs, and then just attach them together, add some chain, a clasp, and you're good to go, and you got a necklace. So if you have ever wanted to make your own jewelry, just know that it is, um, it can be easy, but there are some things and techniques where it'll annoy the crap out of you, and you will want to throw it across the room, but mostly these where you're doing jump rings and chain and then a clasp are really easy. Things where you're playing with wire a little bit more, that's when it can get uh, a little bit more frustrating. Another little Peter Pan chain. I don't think this one lays right, but maybe it does. So yeah, this one's themed after a Peter Pan collar. Again, uh, just super simple, basic uh, pieces of chain and <laughs> that's it. This one I am not going to put on just because it has a lot of chains. And then it also has these little uh, buttons, beaded, buttons, beaded? Buttons attached with jump rings onto it as well. This was during the time where buttons were a really, really big thing as well. This faith word with a key on the end, the key to faith. I don't really know what I was thinking with this one, but I guess I liked it at the time and thought it was cute to make. And last but not least, just a very basic chain. I love this rose gold kind of color with this purple. It's just so cute. Um, and then I kind of use whatever clasps I have at the time. And then that's what this one looks like. So that's all the ones that I had together. I'm sure I have some more things and I will also show you guys those ones. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below for me. Um, would love to show you guys other videos and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.